You can hold it down or let it breathe. And if you're looking for a simple song to sing along the way, together, choose love, choose love, choose love.
Good evening. Welcome to all of you who have joined us in person or via Facebook Live and Zoom. For those of you who are here in person, please take this moment to ensure that your cell phones are silenced. We begin our Wednesday evening service with a pre-service meditation. So I invite you to get still and close your eyes. As we play the God's The Love That I Am chant, you may choose to chant along with it or simply follow along, silently repeating this mantra to yourself. If your mind wanders, simply bring it back to this mantra, God's the love that I am.
And so, as our meditation comes to a close, gently bring your awareness back into your surroundings, into your bodies, and as you feel ready, open your eyes. Welcome to those of us, to those of you who have joined us while our meditation was in progress. We're so glad to have you with us virtually or in person. Let's begin with our opening chant, God is in this place. God is in this place. God is in this place. God is in this holy place. God is in this place. Love. Love is in this place. Love is in this place. Love is in this holy place. Love is in this place. Joy. Joy is. Let's join together in prayer. Joy is truly in this place. Tonight, I speak the word for all of us, knowing that God is here in this place, that God is in everything. And isn't that fun to know God is everywhere that we are, no matter what? No matter what. How wonderful for us. And how wonderful for me to absolutely know that I am part of God. I am one of God every day, everywhere, no matter what. So I speak my word for all of us here tonight that we are blessed. We are truly blessed. We have somewhere that we go to celebrate and rejoice this truth, this knowing. And I know this service is so blessed. I know that Liz Racy is fire tonight. I know that whatever we all need to hear, whatever we all need to really tune into, we need to be inspired, we need to embrace, we need to let go of whatever it is that we need to do, we are divinely guided. We are divinely guided here tonight in this place. And as we leave, we're born anew once again. We're ready to go. We're fired up. We're ready to understand and know the truth that God is with us always. And I am so grateful I'm so grateful to be part of tonight, to be part, to have life, to live this life knowing this absolute truth. So I say thank you, thank you, thank you, God. I release my word into this law. And so it is. And together we say. Please join me in saying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Good evening, everybody. Um, This is an original song. It's called Choose Love. (laughs) 
So many choices in the world today Too many things might blow your mind And if you're looking for a simple truth To see you on your way Life is a game that we're all free to play You can hold it down or let it breathe And if you're looking for a simple song to sing along the way Together choose love, choose love, choose love Shining a light and choose love, choose love, choose love, and keep on shining a light and choose love. Only love can move mountains, only love can lead the way. Love is always forgiveness. So make that choice right here today And choose love, choose love, choose love And keep on shining our light And choose love, choose love, choose love And keep on shining our light And choose love Thank you, Darius and Sam. Thank you. That was beautiful. Hello. Hi. How y'all doing? I don't usually do this part. I usually do Carrie's part. Um, so if Reverend Sydney shouts something out like, Liz, don't forget to, I go, oh yeah, okay. So don't be surprised. Um, so welcome. I always like to start with a reading, but first um, a little bit of an announcement. We're going to do a visioning today. Um, so if you're at home, grab your journal, your pen, your parchment and writing utensil. Um, and if you're here and you don't have a little spiral notebook, we have some back there that Colleen can get for you. Um, a couple weeks ago, Reverend Sidney led a goals workshop and did some visioning there. And it, it just reminded me, and if you did that, you know, you can just leap off from that place. But it just reminded me, you know, visioning is something that needs to happen as often as we do everything else. And I, you know, I'm dedicated to prayer and I'm dedicated to meditation, you know. Um, I'm even more or less dedicated to visualization, but not visioning. And um, uh, so here's what I always tell the kids. Meditation is listening to God. Prayer is talking to God. Visualization is your picture of yourself. And visioning is God's picture of yourself or life. So we're going to get down to that nitty gritty. So first, talking about prayer, we're going to talk about prayer. Um, my topic is the tale of two prayers. And um, again, what I always say is that, you know, prayer is always answered. It's always answered. Every prayer is answered. End of story. Be quiet. <laughs> um, but... You don't get what you pray for. You get what you pray from. And so that's a distinguishing factor in, in, in having the successful prayer, the prayer that you want to see manifested. Um, 
So I'll talk about that in a minute, but here, here's what Ernest Holmes, uh, the founder of this teaching, says in Science of Mind. I love it. Oh, I, he didn't say that, I did. Um, Declaring that right ideas are made known to you constitutes an important step in spiritual mind treatment, prayer. You should forever increase this receptivity, continuously extend and expand your comprehension. You should declare a hundred times a day, good and more good is mine and ever increasing good is mine. There is no limit to the good which is mine. Everywhere I go, I see this good. I feel it. I experience it. It presses itself against me, flows through me, expresses itself in me and multiplies itself around me. See, your consciousness of good is acted upon by the law of mind in such awareness as this, good and more good is mine. Such awareness acts as the law of elimination and expulsion to every discord because this is really where we have to get. We have to get rid of, kick out, in sign language it's like this. You're getting rid of stuff. Um, get, get rid of that uh, sense of discord in your life. So, I wanted to learn to pray, and um, I heard about this practitioner stuff, and I uh, started going to the Agape Church, which is the first uh, New Thought uh, church I ever went to, and starting to take some classes and figure out how does one pray, how does really one pray, because to me, it's like, this person's prayer is answered, and this one is not. Something is up. And I wanted to figure out what that something was. So um, then, as I'm starting classes, I'm literally just starting classes, and I find out I'm pregnant. I'm like, Ugh. you've got to be kidding me. Because my husband and I, we were both divorced, no children, then we got married, and you know, we discussed those things that usually lead to another divorce because I didn't want to be Zsa Zsa. And, um, uh, when we came to children, it was like nothing to discuss. I don't want children, you don't want children, there'll be no children in this union, hallelujah, what do we talk about next? Um, so when I was pregnant, I was like, oh my God, this is the worst thing ever that happened to me. And I was terrified more than anything, uh, one, that I'd be a horrible mom. <laughs> but more than that, <laughs> I, I had this horrible, unsupported fear of having a C-section. So I'm like, I'm going to pray myself up. I am not having a C-section. There's no way I'm having a C-section. So every Wednesday and Sunday at church, you know, after church, uh, Agape is a large place. There'd be this, also pre-COVID, there'd be a long line of people uh, waiting to have prayer with the practitioners, you know, 20 practitioners sitting at the back there, and you'd get in line, you know, and wait your turn to sit with a practitioner, and they would do a spiritual mind treatment for you. And, um, you know, I would be like this. Who has the mojo? That one, no. Ah, that one has the mojo. That one, that, that's the one with the mojo. I'm praying with that person. And I'd actually go, you know, try to count out, make sure I got in there. Oh, you could get in front of me. It's, oh, thank you, that's so nice of you. I know, isn't it? So kind of me. Um, and I would keep sitting with whoever I thought had the mojo. And here's the thing that I ultimately learned, of course, is I have the mojo. You have the mojo. Everybody has the mojo. <laughs> Who knew? But we go to a practitioner so we can be reminded of that, so they can help us anchor again in the truth. So here's what I did week after week after week after week. I sit down with a practitioner with the mojo, and I say, I don't want to have a C-section. I don't want to have a C-section. And then they would pray that I wouldn't have a C-section. Now, what happened? I had a bloody C-section. I'm like, well, that prayer worked really well, didn't it? Thanks, God. That was a big help. Well, here's the thing. What did I do? What did I do? What was I praying from? I was praying from a fear. I was praying for this outcome, but I was praying from a fear. I was praying from, you know, I always talk to God like she's my BFF. That's an excellent idea, you guys, really, because it makes you feel like, you know, we really are one. Um, and, and I was like, girl, you messed that up. You messed that whole C-section thing up. And she was like, girl, that was all you could think about. You had so much attention on C-section, I thought I was giving you a gift. 
So, where are you praying from? What are you praying from? Now, fast forward four months ago. I know Brenda did something similar, um, I think. Four months ago, I had uh, knee replacement surgery. And as I was coming up on that knee replacement surgery, I was like, OK, we're not going to talk about what we don't want. We're not going to put all our feeling tone into what we don't want. What do we want? Well, here's what we want. I want to go back to tap dance class. I would go once a week for fun, and then my knee started acting up, and I hadn't gone in years. And it's like, that's what I want. So that was the focus of my prayer. I'm tap dancing all up and down the aisles of the stores, anywhere I want. And uh, as we were getting closer and closer to the um, actual date, I got excited. I was like to my husband, hey, Paul, I'm having knee surgery Friday. Oh, <laughs> can you believe it? I'm having knee surgery Friday. I'm so excited. My whole life's going to change. It's going to be so wonderful. That's what I was praying from. God doesn't speak in words. English, Japanese, Russian. God speaks in feeling tones. So we want to get our feeling tone straight before we pray, which is why I always like to meditate a little bit before I pray to anchor myself in that feeling tone. So anyway, <clears throat> I go for the surgery. I walk in, and um, the lady goes, uh, are you ready for your massage? Well, heck yeah. <laughs> I'll take that. I thought I was here for surgery. But I guess not. She said, no, it's your spa day. I went, excellent. And I'm going to sneak a little surgery somewhere in there, right? So they do a little massage to get you relaxed and comfortable. Isn't this lovely? And then you know they start prepping you for the surgery. And they say, what music would you like to listen to? I was like, oh, wonderful. I would like to listen to some music. And I said, Frank. And one of the attendants is this you know, early 20s, tall, lanky kid who looks at me with absolute amazement and goes, Frank Ocean? Dude! Sinatra! So they start putting on some Frank, my Frank, not his Frank, although I'm sure his Frank is lovely as well. Um, and uh, I'm starting to go under, and Frank's going, come fly with me, come fly, come fly away. So I'm like, this is so the right surgery. Come out of surgery, what's right there? A golden retriever. They have a golden retriever in the recovery room. Like, got his little paws up going, hey, how's it going? How's that go? You doing all right? I'm just here to lick you. Is that OK? I know. It was, it was from start to finish, it was a wonderful, wonderful experience. And um, then they you know, send you home same day. And they have a walker. And they're like, you're going to use the walker for seven to 10 days. It depends on you know, your strength. And then after that, you'll use a cane for about six weeks, depending on your strength. And you know, we'll start doing the rehab. Well, I use the walker 24 hours. I go, oh, I don't need that thing. I use the cane for about four days. I don't need that thing. And then when they went to take off all the, they give you like a fake cast. It's not plaster. It's something gauzy that has movement to it. But it, it seems like a cast. Uh, the, <clears throat> the doctor goes, OK, now don't be shocked. Don't be alarmed. Usually when I take this part off, everybody is shocked at the purple, green, yellow, blue of their leg from their thigh all the way down to their ankle. That'll go away in, I don't know, four, six months. Again, it depends on your body. So he takes it off, not a bruise. The doctor goes, he calls in some of his associates, look at this. And one guy goes, wow, you can open someone's leg, you take out their knee, you put in a fake one, and there's no bruising. I've never seen that. And the other doctor goes, yeah, you know what? She'll bruise in a few days. I'm like, oh, hush up. I will not. I can't believe you just said that. So never did bruise. Recovery is going great. They say you know, recoveries, full recovery is anywhere from 10 months to a year. But I'm going to be in tap class in about two weeks. <laughs> oh, yes, I am. Oh, you better believe that. OK. Yay, tail two prayers. <clears throat> Watch what you're praying from. All right, so let's do a visioning. So again, the visioning is God's picture of yourself. As you go through this and I ask questions, sometimes, you know, an answer to a question, and this happened for me. One of the questions I asked, I don't remember what it was, but the answer was purple. I'm like, that is so helpful, God. I just love that, purple. And... Um, you know, but here's the, what happened. 
that was very abstract. But what happened was I was looking for a job at the time, and I couldn't stop thinking about purple. And I'm driving down Magnolia Avenue, and there's a Help Wanted sign in purple that I probably wouldn't have, would have missed if God hadn't placed that thought, that awareness of purple in my mind. So you might get something very specific, and you might not. It's all good. It's all good. Um, and uh, the difference, again, visualization is you are kind of like seeing in your mind's eye what you want to have happen. I want to work at Macy's. I, I want to marry that guy named Bob. It's, it's what you're trying to, and that's very good. That puts a feeling tone behind what you're trying to manifest. Excellent, excellent tool. But then visioning is like, OK, God, what, what is it? Show me what it is. Show me what it is. So close our eyes for a minute. I know you got pen and paper, but hang on. I want you to get still for a second here. Just breathe in through your nose. Out through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose. Out through your mouth. Feel yourself just relaxing in your chair. Any place in your body that's tight, your knees or your back, just breathe some light in there. Feel the tension release. Just take a couple of slow, deep breaths. Now, the first thing I want you to do is write down purpose. It's always good to set a purpose for your visioning. You might write something like, I, Liz, am experiencing my perfect divine right employment. I, Liz, am experiencing beautiful family relationships. What is your purpose right now for this visioning? Take a breath and ask your high holy self, how do I envision my life? What qualities do I want to experience? What qualities do I want to experience? and ask, hi, holy self, how do I want to express myself in career? How do I want to express myself? What talents do I have? And ask your high holy self, what does my perfect life 
look like, sound like, smell like, taste like. And High Holy Self, where must I grow and expand in order for this vision to manifest? Where must I grow and expand? And ask your high holy self, what must I release to be the instrument of this vision? What must I release? And just take another breath, letting go. Hi, Holy Self, anything else I need to know? Reveal anything else I need to know. Take these questions and take them home and let them go deeper. Let yourself expand and expand and expand into the vision of the life you desire. Your heart's desire shall be fulfilled. So let's pray. What a blessing it is just to stop in this moment and recognize that power and that presence, that creator that loved itself so much, it thought up each of us. I'm so grateful to know that we are fully aware that right where we are, God is living us. God is moving in through and as us. God is whispering into our soul all that we need to source and supply and manifest our vision of life. I'm so grateful to know this, that nothing is ever against us, something is always for us, and so we are stepping into this open channel of yes, I hear, I obey, I listen, I follow, I'm divinely guided, everything in my life is unfolding with ease and grace because I'm listening, because I'm saying yes, God, the yes of God is the yes of my life. Thank you, beloved Mother, Father, God. How good it is. Can you feel it? Can you feel within your very being? Your heart's desire is fulfilled. How do you feel? 
You are absolutely healthy and whole in your body temple. How do you feel? You are experiencing joyous and loving relationships. How do you feel? Let yourself feel that now. God is fulfilling that right now, even as I speak this word. Creativity is prospering us. Love is lifting us. All our needs are met, and we are living from the overflow of good, and we go forth as the blessing and bless. Thank you, Mother, Father, God, how grateful I am to know that this prayer is answered. And I release this word into the law knowing it is made manifest and whole. And so it is, in agreement we say, Amen. I release and I let go. I let the Spirit run my life. I'm only here for God No more struggle, no more strife With my faith I see the light I am free in the Spirit Yes, I'm only here for God I release and I let go and Let the Spirit run my life And my heart is open wide Yes, I'm only here for God. No more struggle, no more strife. With my faith, I see the light. I am free in the spirit. Yes, I'm only here for God. Yes, I'm only here for God. Yes, I'm Thank you. So, um, you see, I, um, I, I knew I was going to forget something because, you know, see, after the prayer, we're supposed to say, I accept these truths for myself and all beings everywhere. So, I accept these truths for myself and all beings everywhere. All right. So, now is our um, conscious giving time. Uh, if you've been spiritually fed here at all in any way, through the music, through the prayer, um, please uh, tithe whatever works for you, and we are so very grateful for that. And there's so many ways that you can tithe. Carrie will tell you about them all later, but definitely North Hollywood Church Religious Science, nhcrs.org, right there, all the information you need about how to give and spread the good. All right, so let's hold our gift. From the love of pure spirit within me, I bless this gift. I send it forth to heal and bless and prosper. It is evidence of my faith and belief. It does good work in the world and returns to me multiplied abundantly.
Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to thank a few people, and then Carrie will join us again. Um, practitioner Holding Vigil, Mary Catherine O'Hart, namaste. Facebook Live Support, Melissa Allen, used to be my neighbor. I miss you. Um, a Zoom support, Mark Crowell, uh, he's the North Hollywood Church host. We've got Reverend Nadine as a Zoom host. We've got Dean Regan, Regan as our Zoom trainer lead. Here, 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 we have Adam, and we have um, Adam Keshin on the lights and sound, and Colleen Butler and Julie Daniels are doing the usher and greeting, and our media team is Doreen Remo, and Nikki Savara, and Brenda Jordan, and Blair Thompson, and music, Darius, Darius Lux, you, Darius Lux, L-U-X, um, he's on iTunes, so you can get him on iTunes. And thank you, Sam, Mr. Sam Krieger. And of course, Carrie, appreciate it so much. And come on up here and tell us what's happening that's exciting at North Hollywood Church. <laughs> oh, I don't have to leave, do I? <laughs> no. I'm like the boss tonight, I don't have to leave. <laughs> Well, let's just say that nothing is as exciting as Liz Racy. How about that, huh? And I'm going to have to get that knee doctor with the massage and the dog. Is, all right. OK, so right here, announcements. Wednesday, January 19th, ways you can make donations. Call the office, 818-762-7566, or go to nhcrs.org slash give or text the word GIVE to 818-457-3419. Remember, Prayer with a Practitioner is available after service, in person and on Zoom. Wednesday evening service with Reverend Sidney Steen, January 26th, meditation at 6.50, service at 7. Reverend Sidney's topic next week is On Your Marks, Get Set, Grow. Living a Course in Miracles on Zoom, this group facilitated by practitioner Jean Laporte will meet tomorrow night, January 20th from 7.15 to 9.15 p.m. All are welcome. Mark your, oh, okay. Mark your calendars for Sunday. I just found out about this today myself. January 30th at 9.45 a.m. That's the day we will celebrate the 100 35th birthday of our Dean and founder, Dr. Ernest Holmes. This service will be rich with insights, humor, the music Dr. Holmes loved, and some surprise special guests. Oh, and then there'll be cake afterward on the patio. And the band will be here too. <laughs> Quick start class with Dr. Mark Vieira. Continues this Sunday, sign up online. This class meets for two more Sundays, uh, the January 23rd and 30th from 12 to 1.30 on Zoom only. This is an introduction to the background and basic principles of the religious science philosophy and is a required class to become a member of the North Hollywood Church and the cost is free. That's a good one. Grief support group. This group, facilitated by practitioner Carol Winokur, will meet this Sunday on Zoom at 1 o'clock p.m. Okay, there's a little square box here I have to read. As you all are aware, our church has been very careful and conscientious about COVID protocols. We have consistently required masks. We have worked to be distant socializers and we have required our ministers, staff members, and in-person practitioners to be fully vaccinated and to follow strict guidelines to keep all of us healthy and alive. So now we want everyone to join us in consciousness that we will be able to return to two services on Sunday, March 6th. Yeah. Woo but don't worry. We will continue to Zoom and Facebook Live our 945 service. And yes, we will have our junior church at the 945 service only. Okay, lastly, a couple things. Zoom virtual patio before and after Sunday and Wednesday services. Zoom meditation every morning, Monday through Saturday at 8 a.m. And then finally, visit our website, nhcrs.org to obtain Zoom links and more information about all our events 
and to sign up for weekly e-blasts and monthly newsletters. Thank you all for coming, and let's hand it back over to Liz for that final benediction. There you go. Ha, ah, so what a lovely evening. How great we are just to stop right here and know that we are blessed, that right where we are, God is moving in through and as us. So something wonderful has to be happening. Something glorious must be operating through us, for God is operating through us. So how grateful we are to come together in community to share our love and our light and to absolutely leave this place on a cloud of joy, peace, and harmony. Thank you, Mother, Father, God. And so it is. Amen. Be ready.